Hey everybody, Tim and Jordan here for another Harley Quinn video. The end of season one, the beginning of season two. We're trying to catch up, play catch up, <laughs> since season three is going to come out sooner or later. So as everybody knows, if you've watched the other videos, we do them two at a time. So in this case, I don't know, it's, it's weird to me that they do them in like 13 episodes, but 13 is an unlucky number, so I guess it makes sense with Harley Quinn. <laughs> Whatever. So we're doing the season finale of season one, episode 13, final joke, and the season two premiere, New Gotham. So for season one, episode 13, the final episode for the first season, I mean, it starts off so sad with Ivy's funeral because the last episode, episode 12, ended with like her getting harpooned in the by chest. The yeah, by the Joker. And it was, it was very sad. Like, I mean... When when I started this series, I figured it was going to be almost like a, a rated R version of Batman the Animated Series from the 90s, but oh. it was going to play it very close to, like, Batman mythology. And the things for this one were, like, Ivy getting killed, and then as we progress with, like, the Joker taking over Gotham, and then the big scene where Scarecrow, like, rips Batman's hood off and he kills Scarecrow... Like, the second he killed Scarecrow, I was oh, like... Oh, Joker. Oh, yeah, 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 Joker killed Scarecrow. I was like, this is not, like, a Batman comic. This is not, like, the animated series. Like, they just killed a major character. Which I was kind of surprised about because the Scarecrow is in a lot of different, like, Batman, like, Joker, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. And so, like, obviously for this storyline, he's dead, I'm assuming, as of now. Mm -hmm. But it's just, I was really surprised at that, actually. Like yeah, I was I was amazed that they he, went that dark. And he literally kills him because he's like, he's like, oh, I didn't want to know. Him. Yeah, he's like, he rips off the mask and they find out who Batman is. And Joker's like, if I wanted to do that, I could have done that like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of been a thing with Batman for a while, where like the Joker, supposedly some people like writers for Batman comics have done like behind the scenes like interviews and stuff like that. And they've said, like, I write the Joker, like, he already knows who Batman is. But he doesn't want to reveal it because that would ruin the joke. And then other people are like, oh, he doesn't know because Batman is the foil for the Joker. He's the exact opposite. And they need each other to balance. Right, which I think even in this one, he says the minute Scarecrow takes off the mask, he's like, great. He's like, now I know he's a billionaire with parental issues. Yeah. He's like, now that defeats the purpose of everything. It ruins everything. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it kind of goes both ways, where, like, the Joker just doesn't want to know. Because to the Joker, it doesn't matter who it is. Like, the Joker's just there for a good time. Yeah, he's just there to torment people, because that's it. If, you, if I don't make you laugh, then get the fuck out of the way, because mm -hmm. I don't need you. Which... Like, I feel like that brings back to the whole story of, like, him being a failed comedian. So, if mm. you don't laugh... Like, the I'll killing joke. Laugh. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, I was kind of surprised by some of, like... Like, some of the scenes were just kind of hard to watch. Where, like, the Joker, like, kidnaps all of Harley's crew. And, like, where he rips out all the teeth for King Shark and stuff. <gasps> oh, when he's tormenting... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, some of them were just... It was just hard. And then when Harley shows up with the classic outfit, like, I mean, I have the tattoo of the... I love the classic outfit, because that's who I am. Like, she doesn't I'm, show up with the outfit. She goes to save her crew. Oh, and he and the, makes her change. Yeah, the Joker's like, wear this, and they'll survive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, like, I'm a fan of the classic outfit, so that was a little hard for me. But the whole fight scene was really good, of just, like, them stabbing each other at the exact same time. Yeah, and he even says, he's like, oh, you always steal my moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the big twist, it's not even really a twist, um, but Ivy showing up alive. Right. Which I love the, like, did, it, it was my tears that brought you to life. Well, no, it was the renewal of the earth. Yeah. But the tears might have the, helped. The tears <laughs> helped. But, so, like, I mean, at this point, I mean, after seeing Scarecrow die, like, being melted by Joker's acid, I was like, oh, shit, maybe, like, who knows? It, it's like Game of Thrones. Like, no character is safe. <laughs> no character is <laughs> safe. But then again, like, maybe Ivy takes pity and, like, maybe she can bring him back to life somehow. I don't know how yeah. that works. Because Ivy, like, it makes sense because she's Ivy. Mm. But, like, Scarecrow, it's like... No, he's... I, I, Scarecrow's gone. He's yeah. done. Uh, and then the final scene with the earthquake. So there's a very famous comic book storyline called No Man's Land. In which Gotham suffers an earthquake. And, I mean, that's where, like, Azrael comes around and, like... 
it's it's a huge storyline. Like it's it's a oh, massive. Okay. Like it went so this on. That's why you said I didn't know about these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, like it went <laughs> on for a long time of like just Gotham is decimated, and people have to like go through things. And even Batman and his crew are like spray painting buildings with bat symbols. Like okay, this building's been checked. And moving on. Yeah. And that's kind of what the, the earthquake at the end of this episode reminded me of. Was, because, was well, no the earth, well, that's what was the thing. is like the earthquake was technically caused because at the end, Harley Quinn is basically, like, defeating the Joker at mm -hmm. that point in time. And he, like, presses a button, which you assume is just going to, like, blow up the building. But instead, it, like, blows up Gotham. I mean, it could have just hit, like, a tectonic plate or something. But still, it, it I feel like it it's the Joker, so he probably just had bombs throughout the entire city. Could be too, that. Um, but yeah, it's a hell of an ending for a first season. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, like, technically, like, so the Joker wants to drop um, Harley into the Bat of Acid. That's going to turn her back to normal. It's just going to be... I don't um, think that's how Acid works, though. Yeah, I, I don't... It's the Joker. It's the Joker, right? <laughs> but I mean, like, at the end or whatever, I mean, like, so obviously I uh, Harley gets saved by Ivy because she ends up being alive. That's great. whoop de doo And then, uh, whatchamacallit, the Joker actually ends up falling into the vat of acid. And then in the end or whatever, when all the rubble is th uh, done, like, you, like, see him, like, he pushes his hand through and it's still white. And he has this crazy laugh. And then all of a sudden you see his color slowly start to fade back to, like, a human color. And then, like, all of a sudden or whatever, his, his laugh is, like, a normal person. It's not the Joker, the crazy laugh that we know. You got so much more out of it than I did. I didn't catch half of that. Yeah, like, I don't really watch TV, but when I watch TV, I pay the fuck attention. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's surprising. Weird. You just blew my mind. I know, and so, like, that's one of those things that I'm just like, okay, so technically, like, the Joker actually turns back to, like, normal, which is really weird because I've always, like, even being with you for, like, all these years, I've always known him as, like, the Joker. The Joker. Yeah. That's a good segue into season two. Yep. Uh, New Gotham, where, like I said, no man's land. It's been decimated. It's not even part of the USA anymore. Yeah, the mayor, like, which we're still determined it's on whether or not he, or the president can actually do that. Like, just be like, hey, I don't, the I city don't, is no longer part of the United States. I don't, it's so fucked. I don't even <laughs> think the president can do that. But it we are not be... willing to send any funds to this yeah. thing anymore. We are just saying fuck it, which I mean, it's Gotham. So I mean, like with all the villains and everything, like you would assume that like the state would just be like, fuck it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got your own problems, deal with them yourself. <laughs> and so five major villains have taken over Gotham. The Penguin, the Riddler, Two-Face Bane, and Mr. Freeze. Which, poor Bane, where he gets like the fold-up chair. He doesn't have a nice swivel chair. And he's just so sad. But I mean, like, realistically, like, his part of the town is probably, like, it's not a bad part of town. Uh, which, I don't I don't think you ever watched, like, Samurai Batman. <laughs> but in that one, like, a few different villains all took over different parts, parts of, like, China or something. Okay. That's kind of what it reminded me of. Okay. Uh, we get to see the return of Damien as little Batman. Oh, yeah. He's so cute. He, he's wearing Batman's outfit, like, suit, and it's yeah, so it's cute. Yeah, so big. Yeah, he's like, Batman hasn't been around for so long. Hi, yeah. And then Commissioner Gordon's just like, who in the fuck are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh, so the, the five major groups decide to form the Injustice League, which I think we talked about like when we first like, saw the Legion of Doom episodes. I think I brought it up in that video. Where back in the day, back in like the 70s, it was called, or I th no, I think that was Legion of Doom. I don't know, but nowadays it's called the Injustice League. And so they're, like, updating their name. Oh, okay. And so they, before, the five of them had kind of sectioned off Gotham and were, like, overlapping and just fighting with each other. And now they're like, nope, here's the sections. This is what we're going to do. And they, they nail it down to who's in control of which parts of Gotham. Which is kind of like, you see that in previous episodes where, um, like, I think, like, when it's Dr. Psycho and um, King Shark, mm -hmm. when they're running away from Two-Face, they keep on running, and it's really cute because, like, I, I drive a mini club in. <laughs> um, and they end up, like, modifying a little mini, and they end up taking off, and they're like, oh, ha, 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 like, we're gaining on them, like, we're losing them, and all of a sudden it's like, no, you guys are idiots you're going into Bane Town now mm -hmm. and so like they kind of make references to it in like 
other episodes. Right. So, which uh, I thought was kind of funny. So this episode threw me for a loop because the last episode we saw the Joker kill Scarecrow. And then in this episode, they kill the penguin. Yeah, well, Harley kills the penguin. But... I'm still sad. Like, I hope Andrew never watches this episode. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. Um, I guess the penguin shouldn't freeze crazy bitches. Um, because that's... And, like, she... Did she bite off his nose? Yeah, she yeah, bites like, off his nose. It's fucked up. But, I mean, like, someone freezes you in some ice and you finally get released. I mean, you're going to be a little pissed off, too. So, yeah, that's I mean, true. Yeah. I don't and... blame her. Yeah, but still, I was, I was, I mean, they killed two major villains in two episodes. I was, I was surprised. Like, this, this series is really kind of taking its own route. It's not oh, well, following the the Batman guidelines. Right. Well, that's kind of like I feel like the sequence of the show is that like you kind of feel like I don't. I just feel like Harley's out there to prove herself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the big twist at the end: Bruce is in a coma. So Bruce Wayne is still alive. Because, like I said, it's fucking Game of Thrones, Harley Quinn style. Nobody's, nobody's safe or lost, if anybody That's remembers right, exactly. that. Like, yeah, everybody, exactly. like, anybody, you could be watching Lost, and they're like, oh, this character's dead now. And you're like, what? So, I didn't watch Game of Thrones, so I don't understand what that means. I said Lost. Lost. Oh, I was totally lost watching that show. Yeah, see? But, yeah. Um, so, overall, the end of one season, the beginning of a new season, how are you feeling? Um, it's a twist. What a twist! Uh, um, I mean, I'll still watch more. I still love this show just because it's Harley Quinn and like, you know, Ivy mainly. I'm glad that she came back. Her death. I mean, that was just. I feel like they had to, or people would like revolt. Like, bro, oh, you bring her bolt. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can kill Scarecrow. You can kill the Penguin. If you actually killed Ivy, oh, you'd get canceled. I don't think you'd get canceled, but you'd have oh me. I'm not even going to touch that. Um, I'll still watch it. <laughs> okay. Any other closing thoughts for these two I don't episodes? have any closing thoughts. Like, no. Nope, no thoughts whatsoever. <laughs> no, okay. I'm so intoxicated. So that's the whole point of this video. Uh, so for those who have seen the first season, we, we bring it to an end. So what do you think of the first season and the first part of the second season? What are you looking forward to? Do you have any characters that you hope to see in season two that you have not yet seen already? Season two? I'm trying to think. I don't know because, like, realistically, like, Batman has a lot of, like, villains. He does. Like, a oh, shit asking. ton of villains. And, like, I don't know, like, have we seen the Mad Hatter? I don't think we've seen the Mad watch Hatter. Watch our reviews. Let us know. Yeah. Um. You go back and rewatch our own. I don't think we've seen the Mad Hatter. Like, I'd, I'd be interested in just that alone. The Harley Quinn Mad Hatter? <clears throat> yeah, like, I would just... Okay. Like, just because I feel like he's a character that I've seen quite a few... Or, like, heard of a few times that we haven't seen, obviously. Right. Um, and now that we lost Scarecrow, I feel like they're about the same level. So I feel like him coming in, that wouldn't be too bad. Mm -hmm. Um... He's the only one I can really think of right now, but I feel like th there is definitely a lot more villains. That I like. I'm sure if like someone gave me like the right comic books, oh. um, I could totally be like, oh yeah, there's that guy and that guy and that guy. But right now, the Mad Hatter is the only one that comes to mind for me. I'm going to say because I've seen a lot more cartoons, and we're gonna I'm gonna make him watch some more of the classic cartoons. Oh no, there was an old classic episode of the new Batman Adventures from like 1997. Where um, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy team up with a Batman villain called Livewire. Where she's like all about like electricity and stuff. Almost like static shock. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. And uh, I would love to see the Harley Quinn version of Livewire. I think that would be really interesting. Okay. But, okay. Uh, any, any closing thoughts? Or you no. asked me that. Nope. Okay, that. we're done. Uh, so for those who have seen it, go ahead and let us know. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll see you guys next time for the start of season two.